schools than just college. So I put together a program that will help parents uh, develop those skills and abilities in their children because they need to be much more entrepreneurial now. Uh, while there may not be jobs out there, there's always work, you know, and you're going to have to create the work yourself often. But I've that, been doing it all my life. But that's the blue collar side of our our. Oh our no! But there, but no one pushes that. No one talks about. Oh, I'm not anymore. talking blue collar. No blue collar. Well, no, no, blue collar is fine yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm not saying no blue. I'm saying white collar work too. Yeah, white collar work. All too. there is. Uh, there are people out there creating businesses for themselves. Okay. They are creating um, jo jobs for themselves. Some of it's, uh, I know, social workers who are putting programs together and going shopping their programs around. Mm -hmm. I know people who are going and now becoming presenters, authors, mm -hmm. uh, make people making movies, mm -hmm. filmmakers, mm -hmm. uh, musicians. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is it, the opportunities are vast out there. How you turn it into money mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a fascinating mm -hmm. question. And the process of taking those wide range of opportunities and turning them into an income, a living for yourself and for your family and for, for your extended family, takes a whole different set of skills. Well, what, do, do they have such a listing, if you will, of, of jobs available, ranking type deal, one and, through 20, one through 30? And yeah, of, you mean in terms of numbers, they, jobs right, number, available? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't they know where it is, deal. but I know I know nursing's like way up top. You really? Yeah, nursing's, every, medical, the medical field is way up top. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Well, you're the are you the beginning of the baby boom generation? Mm -hmm. I know I'm at the end, mm -hmm. uh, but the baby boom generation is getting our age, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. it's only going to get older. I like and, what you just said there. Tom, yeah. Did you get that? Tom? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good man. Well, we're going to get him back here. We got to get him back. I like that. So, in terms of the healthcare professions, right? Huge. They require educations for the most part. Mm -hmm. They require college. Mm -hmm. uh, Engineers. I mean, if, if our kids wanted to really get into the field, studying the maths and the sciences, huge opportunities out there, uh, which are now being mostly taken mm -hmm. by kids from China, from India, yeah. from Brazil, uh, simply because most of our kids aren't that interested mm -hmm. in studying math and science. Well, tell me something. Do you think, and I hope maybe we have enough time for this, do you think we've, we've kind of gotten to a point now in these United States mm -hmm. that every kid, every person during the formative years should also get their, their degree at the same time? I would love it. They Boy, should have college. They should have one the through, opportunity. One through 14. No, we're, we're, we're You're one looking through, at one through 14. No, no one through 16. Right? One 12, through 16. And, four, yeah. and why not? any post-high school work because there's all kinds of uh, educational programs at community college right, exactly. that lead to jobs. Right, right, exactly. Uh, right. That's, that's blue collar. But that's you, right, and those are great. I mean, I had a student, oh my God, this was funny. I had a student at Westland High School, not a good student, not doing well at all. I had him in ninth grade, and I did some after school programming there. And uh, he was struggling, his grades were not good. Uh, and he, he, we did some work together. That was great. And I didn't see him until three years later when he was a senior. Hmm. And he we saw each other walking down the hall. And he goes, Dr. J, how you doing? And I go, I'm great. How are you doing? He goes, great. I go, are you going to graduate? He goes, oh, yeah. I go, good. I go, what are you going to do? He goes, I just got a job as a longshoreman. Yeah. I'm going to be making 80 grand a year. Yeah, there you go. There you go. With a high school diploma. Yes, sir. Uh, Good for you. Not too bad, is it? Not too bad. Now, he had connections. I mean, as someone in his family was part of the union relationships. But let's, let's do it. Get a job. I just worked, uh, I put together with, I partnered with the North Northeast Business Association this summer right. and Friends of the Children. Okay. And we put together a little youth entrepreneurial summer program, okay. kind of an internship program okay. where the youth got placed with business folks in the North Northeast mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. One of them ended up with a job out of it, full-time job. Uh, others of them have people that will now have their back and write them letters and make phone calls for them. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're so glad we we're able to give these 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 young men and women the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's still it's about relationships. Yeah, it's really about sure. connections. You know another piece, and we bought. We, 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 I'm, I'm trying to throw a bunch of things out here. Sure, please. But you know, my perception in my field and when community college came into existence yep. in, in communities around the country, yep. it took voc ed out of the schools. Yes, yes. Why did they do that? Yeah, you're smarter than me, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, Tom was part of that area. You know? He sat on a couple of committees along that line. In my high school, now <laughs> yeah. I was in the academic, now where I came from, you were tracked. 
Right. Okay. So I was in the academic track, so I was right. going to college. That okay. was my right, right, track. Right, right, but right. that was my high school. But the majority, had, but the majority of the kids no, were in college. They, that's they weren't right. in that you either were now this is back in the sixties, yeah, so this yeah. was unfortunate. Yeah. But you were either a woman and had home ec right, right. or um a young man and had automotive shop, woodworking shop, that's right. yeah. something yeah. Yeah. that yeah. It you was a job. Thank you. Yeah. And they don't I haven't are there if someone knows a high school where those things exist, hey, please buddy. call. Because hey, I, you know, and it, Jeff doesn't have them. No, Grant, don't. I don't think you Grant don't. has them. I know Lake House, we go. Well, Jeff will have them now. Yes. Because they'll be going to community college. Yes. That's where they are. That's right. I mean? And they That's should right. be all over the place. I agree. Okay. All community college should be a part and parcel of them. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, you got the voc ed stuff. I mean, right. the voc ed, the, the, uh, I, I, the charter school stuff. Yes. See? So, I love I love the blend of community college and high school. Makes sense. It, it just makes too much sense. It's that, a great that was high that was high school. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, like, look like a bulk of the kids, if you will, once they graduated from high school under the uh, under the new system, mm -hmm. then they all went to community college to get their GED. Yes. A lot of them didn't. Right. The ones who didn't graduate go to community college to get so their it's, GED. It's it's high school anyway. Yeah. And the cool thing is and this, this is one of the great things about community college yeah. settings is, I can't, speak, I can't say every place, but almost every place that I know of, a student in 10th grade can leave their high school and go right to a community college, yeah. get their two-year degree by the time they would have graduated yeah. you know, high school, get it paid for because yeah. almost most communities most uh school districts will pay take your money that you go to jeff with and move it to the community college if that's where you're going to school so you get two years yeah, of yeah. free college that's right, education that's right, that's right, that's right. if you could hang and do the work is the legislature listening I, look like well, look like the, the the present governor has made this move he's going he's yes. not going to be the superintendent so that's what we need to talk to now yes right Yes. And he's in a position to say, okay, fine, as far as we're concerned, from this point on, all kids, throughout our education is going to include the two-year... And we need to make sure, this is that piece I was telling you, that yeah. academic skills piece right. way at the beginning right. of the show, right. we need to make sure our kids, when they, whenever they leave high school, whether it's in right. 10th grade right. or 12th grade or whatever, right. are prepared to sit in a college class, community college class, and be successful. Mm -hmm. And too many of our kids aren't. Uh, they need to learn. We need to prepare them, and and that's one of the things I do. Yeah, yeah, is uh, yeah. I would love to have this program picked up yeah, yeah, by yeah. some school district because it's not hard. Mm -hmm. It's not extra work. It's not even that much extra money. It's it's just how you how you how you arrange the pieces, mm -hmm. and you can make a huge difference. Well, you know, I was also thinking about it. I, I I don't know whether or not the deal was made. I wish I had been at the table when the deal was made about the Jefferson High School piece, sure. about the college piece, sure. and the fact that uh, maybe Tony might have made a statement. I don't know whether he was at the table or whatever, but I would have suggested right then and there that they move the, the SCI school to Jefferson High School. Yeah. There's a football field there. There's all kinds of goodies there. Uh, the the people in the community can get their park back, so to speak. Yeah. They put something else. Sure. There, you know? But the bottom line is that, I mean, it's all there. Community yes. College there, Jefferson High School is there. Yeah. He's, uh, he's one through twelve. I mean, you know, the whole nine yard routine. Right. It would have been fantastic. Yeah, I'm just I just do that on the tape. Yeah, well, yeah, you I'm know? sure Tony's uh, Tony's listening. It's good. And good, good, good. I would suspect Tony's actually even thought about it. You never thought about it? I would imagine because he's a he's a very sharp man. Oh yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Um, so so anything we can do to help him on that line, I'd really appreciate. Sure. It. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's going to be here, and I and I'm I'm really excited about the, yes. the fact that uh, he's doing what he's doing. Absolutely. And I'm excited about the fact that they're recognizing Jeff's high school now he's a two-year college deal. But I also like to see that the, the two-year college deal is for all the kids, the entire deal, for the entire state as far as I'm concerned. It would be great. You got my point? Ab no, absolutely. And then you're going to be there, right, to make sure that they, they get the word? I will speak about it. I will advocate it. But I don't quite have, like, Phil Knight's money or Bill Gates's money or whatever to, like, yeah. push it. Because uh, it seems that's partly what it's going to take. Well, it's going to be very, it's going to be very interesting now, especially since the, since the governor is going to be the superintendent. Yes. And he's got this super committee aspect of it. Yep. And hopefully, we'll have, then, then we'll have a vehicle, if you will, yes. to be able to communicate with him. In fact, I, I do plan to get in touch with him. Oh, that would be and great. I've, I've had him on the show. In fact, when he ran for governor the first time around. Yep. I'll have him to come in, talk to the superintendent. We, we maybe, maybe you might be a part of that that show. I make. The, Drop the dime. That'd be okay. I'm here in a minute. Can you handle that? Absolutely. Good, good. Absolutely. Any lasting remarks there? We've got about about two or three minutes here. 
What, what, what lasting points you want to get get across to the, to the viewing to the viewing public? Oh right? my God! Based on the things that you've done and what you're looking at wanting to do. Okay. That's even better. What, what okay. do you want to do? What do I want to do? And where are you going? I want to help parents ensure, ensure. I want to help parents ensure that their kids are ready to meet the challenges that they're ready to, that they're going to face in the next 10, 15 years. Uh, that's my work. And I want to help those kids also be ready to step out there and make lives for themselves that their communities, their families, their themselves will be proud of. That's my work. You know, I, I, I really appreciate that. Oh, and, I should say one thing. We have a workshop coming up. You got a workshop? Yeah, let's talk about this workshop. Okay. Talk about the workshop. Let's go. There's a yeah. short notice for those of yeah, you who don't know. Yes. We have a workshop coming up uh, August 30th. That's this Tuesday at Concordia College at mm. 7 o'clock. It's going to outline some of these new skills and tools that I believe our, our parents can be teaching, working, their, working with their kids with. Uh, and we're going to be talking about a specific exercise to help build uh, real self-esteem and self-discipline. Uh, the cost is on a very wide sliding scale. So I'm um, asking the recommended contribution is $35, mm -hmm. but zero works for me too, and anything in between, I just want to see families there. Uh, if you have kids in middle school or high school, bring them. Uh, elementary school kids are probably a little too young, unless they're precocious. And if they can sit for a couple hours, bring them too. So uh, that's happening. Well, you know, at the same, I might add also, too, that if business folks are out there, they're interested very much in supporting young folks along that particular line, they can pick up the tab. Oh, absolutely. You do that, right? That would be great. And they can just visit your website, right? Yep, visit the, my the website. Announcement, the announcement is on there? The announcement's on my website. There are two websites. There's the one that you've, that's been posted, www.jkluskey.com. Go to Upcoming Events. It'll be right there. Or you can go to oneparentatatime.com. Okay, good. Same gets you to similar places. That sounds that sounds really good, and I and I think you know it's much needed too. And by the way, just to just to make sure that you know where it's going to be, it's going to be again Concordia University Library Room three ten. Yes. Library three ten, and it's a Tuesday evening kind of a deal. Uh, that's August thirtieth, from seven to nine. From seven to nine. Okay, and that's the large building to the west. If you go down, if you're going down trying to find that piece, so again three to nine. An effort to continue. Okay, that's cool. That's really good. Well, you know, this has been just great. This has been just fantastic, and I really great. appreciate Jay. You, you've, oh. uh, you've really given the the, the, uh, the viewing audience quite a take. And Thank I hope, you. I hope, and we're going to make sure we get this to to, to the new superintendent, great. Governor Kitzhopper. Thanks again, Bruce. Jay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Doctor. Appreciate that, folks. Thanks again. Again, as George Page always said, back to what you believe in. I'll see you next week. <laughs>